The Indian government has been promoting electric vehicles or EVs through programs such as FAME 1 and FAME 2 with a particular focus on charging infrastructure. Industry participants have also been upbeat and show a keen interest in the EV charging ecosystem as a whole. In this part of the series, we have Charge Zone and EV Charging Company, a company with the vision of installing 1 million charging points across the country. Charge Zone is offering best in class EV charging services and operations management solutions that effectively respond to the demands and challenges of EV charging networks for B2B and B2C markets. As the name speaks for itself, we are busy building up. Uh, one of India's largest EV charging network meant for personal mobility as well as for commercial mobility. Our journey started three years ago uh, when we conceptualized the very nature of this business. Uh, when the government decided to take a call of classifying EV charging as a consumer service and thereby deregulating it or delicensing it, you know, in a, in a parlance of, of electrical or power sector terms as a consumer service. And that was the beginning for Charge Zone in the summer of 2018. And as a first step, uh, we took a call to develop the technology in-house. A technology in an uh, in EV charging industry, we call this as Charge Cloud, which essentially means all the charging stations uh, that will be running on the network or will be run by Charge Zone on its network will be unmanned, app-driven and automated in all aspects. We started our journey as a technology startup, which aim was not technology, but core to our business was customer, both internal and external. We got around people who believed in us, believed in our dream of technology platform, which is to make it available to user as well as the people who monitor it anywhere, anytime, sort of. That means that led to the cloud. Three years back, it was gaining its ground in India. So we adopted cloud as the platform instead of any on-site servers and all. It helped us too, without investing the hard-earned money of our investors into setting up a static infra of servers and farm, to set up only that much what we needed and allowed us to use the latest technology at whatever cost it came because of lowering the infra cost. When you say latest, even at that point of time, WebSocket, JSON, and all these were the technologies which were gaining ground. We adopted what was the latest at that point of time. And our technology platform was by itself not a dream. The charging infrastructure is the backbone of electric mobility, but is also one of the key perceived barriers to EV adoption in India, given its limited availability and long charging times. But the companies like Charge Zone are trying their best to bridge this gap by providing the best products and services. As Charge Zone, when we, when we started, we very clearly visualized this as a great opportunity to provide EV charging as a service and thereby Charge Zone can be easily be classified as an energy business now. And the vision was kept pretty simple that you create 1 million charging points by 2030, thereby serving, let's say, 30% of the Indian market thereby serving the customers involved in personal mobility or, co or commercial mobility. And, and one of the most famous problems that we are trying to solve here is the range anxiety. Yeah, because essentially, when we, when we buy a car, a petrol or diesel car, we really don't think about petrol pumps because they were all there for the last 40, 50 years. However, when you, when you plan to buy an electric vehicle, the first thing that comes in your mind is where do I go to charge? Because I'm not buying an electric car just to drive within the city. It is meant for, for an intercity travel or for a commercial application. So Charzone solves, uh, or rather Charzone is has, has determined for himself itself that it can solve the biggest problem in this industry for by providing a reliable EV charging network for electric vehicles in the country. Car I have used when I bought it, I have used Charzone in the past two or three times. It is very fast charging, it is a 60 kW charger. है. मैं दूसरे भी चार्जर सूरत में यूज करता हूं उससे भी यह बहुत फास्ट है दूसरे चार्ज में मुझे घंटा सवा घंटा जैसा हो जाता है लेकिन चार्जर जोन से मुझे 30-40 मिनट में मेरा 100% चार्ज हो जाता है कस्टमर सपोर्ट भी अच्छा रहता है 
चार जोन से मैं रिक्वेस्ट भी करना चाहता हूँ कि आगे और स्टेशन बढ़ाए Spread across 22 cities across India, Charge Zone have more than 400 stations and 1,200 plus charging points. Charge Zone has successfully electrified Mumbai Ahmedabad NH8 highway with its public charging stations connecting cities like Ahmedabad, Vadodara, Surat, Navsari, Wapi, Manor, Mumbai. I have been travelling from Pune to Ahmedabad, and while going, I have used two charges of Charge Zone. Uh, one is in Navsari and like you know the current one which is in uh, uh, Karjan. So it has been very simple. Like you know the charging, like you know using the application is very easy and simple. And also we have a facility to reserve a slot, which like you know none of the provider is currently providing. So it's like you know good service and uh, like you know good option for EVs. When it kick started uh, three years ago, well there was not much of visibility of electric vehicles at that point of time. Hence, we took a call of uh, of stepping up uh, uh, into into this industry. It's a company that provides EV charging hubs for fleets, fleets of buses or fleet of cars, and so on. And that was our our humble beginning. And today, we serve more than four thousand customers on a daily basis. And I would say this is just a tip of iceberg because e mobility is just taking shape in India. We are on a cusp of uh, of uh, off tick in terms of the. of ev adoption in the country supported by various policies of central government as well as various state governments as a result of this uh, charzo now uh, has uh, in terms of in terms of the entire and the presence that we are creating we believe uh, that the charging stations will not be just located in uh, heated communities or at apartments or or bungalows for that matter it will be required on on national highways state highways and so on and so forth so so this entire entire game plan or rather say a part of a playbook is to is to bring the 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 combination of renewable energy with ev charging process and thereby enabling e mobility in the country so we are actually creating a horizontal value chain across the e mobility ecosystem challenges are many we when we started we couldn't afford aws azure and all that so we started with a private cloud carry.net we upgraded to the one which is being used by public sectors in india because data has to be stored in india and when we shifted to them as i told we keep on evolving about one and a half years back two years back when we shifted to the go for you flat cloud which is being used by gale and lot of public sector which promises that your data will be stored in india so as the regulations come last year so we graduated from carry.net to a next version of it and now when we are going to do this we are going to now go to azure so this was a challenge every time whenever you shift there is be some disruptions so we had to meet this thing second problem it happened was connectivity everywhere when you look overseas and all their sim connectivity is so good that all these charges were on sim but to over misgiving we found that is not sufficient in india because of what all happened and see when you started 3 years back we didn't had any problem but slowly this started coming in as you know the the restrictions of towers being put our own phones to start <laughs> drop calls so that was a big challenge which now we have come up by using the lease line at all our major hubs and hopefully this thing will improve and on highways where there is no we when we choose a station we see that connectivity is good not only the electrical power connectivity so that my client doesn't have to wait for his mobile to be get connected and also this is connectivity has been the major issue one of the major issues to power second issue has been getting the there is always rules regulations getting the electric supply enabling it permission getting the ev tariff etc the second challenge that we have been facing the third is manpower since the sector which is coming up new you don't get trained manpower so we take in as you see we have very young crowd of people here we take them train them and see that we still deliver the best of experience to our clients 
Charge Zone has partnered with various industry stakeholders as well as government departments to fulfill the government's dream of going electric. They have also created a charging point association called the Indian Charge Point Operators Association. As Charge India, we have created a single voice representing the industry to engage with the government, to work on the policies, to improve upon the existing policies and make it uh, you know, affordable, you know, uh, reachable uh, in terms of uh, uh, EV adoption in the, in the country. And as Charge Zone, what we are trying to do our bit is uh, to create one of the India's uh, important, largest and reliable uh, EV charging network. So that's been our, our contribution so far and we'll continue on, it, on, on this journey for the, for the decades to come.